The IPCC published a special report on the ocean and cryosphere in a changing climate. So what are the main findings of this report? The top level finding is that the oceans and ice are in trouble, and if they're in trouble, we're in trouble because we depend on them. Carbon dioxide, which is piling up in the atmosphere because of fossil fuel emissions, dissolves in the ocean and turns it into a weak acid. When you turn the ocean acidic, you're destroying parts of this food chain that humans depend on. The report is talking about more extreme sea level events happening more often. What impact does that have? How much and, and, and how much can we do to mitigate those types of events? Coastal floods happen when a storm comes along and raises the level of the sea and pushes it inland. That's called a surge. Big floods also happen at certain levels of high tide, when you get a king tide or some unusually high tide, and just the water rises along the coast. In the future, both of those ty types of high water events are going to be more severe they'll be higher because they're going to be sitting on top of a sea level rise, which just lifts the whole thing up. We're going to see effects like the flood level that accompanied the typical once in a hundred year event historically is going to come uh, in many locations every year by 2050 and at most locations every year by 2100 in any emission scenario. So this is not something that might not happen if we cut our emissions radically. It's going to happen even in the softer emissions scenarios. Mm -hmm. And so we don't have a choice. We need to adapt and we need to plan ahead. Even in many rich countries like the United States, we, don't, we haven't paid enough attention to protecting the coast. And in fact, we've encouraged people to go settle along the coast in risky areas because our national flood insurance program is a mess. So you think, it, sorry, just to ju jump onto that point, the incentives in some areas are misaligned when you look at, you know, encouraging people to, to settle on the coast. Misaligned is a kind word. The proper word is perverse. They get people to do exactly the opposite of what you want them to do. The UN General Assembly held the Climate Action Summit. The intended goal is really for, for leaders to come prepared to tackle emissions. How do you assess how leaders across the, the, the world are doing. If you look at the extreme scenarios, either the lowest possible emissions we'll have or the highest, you see in the high scenario, change just accelerates indefinitely, hundreds of years. In the lowest scenario, everything slows down. And it's in that lower scenario that we have a good chance to adapt effectively. The key thing is that you need both emissions reduction and adaptation, and without both, the world from a coastal point of view becomes unmanageable. Uh, what are world leaders doing? Not enough. Few countries are living up to their commitments made in the Paris Agreement, mm -hmm. and you know the clock is ticking. How effective are voices like Greta Thunberg in this climate discussion? I was at a speech she made, and she, you know, she said that this problem is about the science. Listen to the scientists; you'll be okay if you just follow what they're telling you. And that's a great lesson in a world that's been full of bogus messages and noise where people who have a financial interest in not seeing the problem solved have basically tried to create um, com uh, confusion in people's minds. What do you think are the biggest misconceptions about climate change? The biggest misconception and the one most relevant to this report is that we have time and we can fix it later. So our decision to not cut emissions today is the decision to suffer more sea level rise, more extreme flood levels during storms. Those are decisions that can't be reversed. It's that irreversibility that people just simply don't understand. It means thinking ahead. It means acting before you see really painful consequences. We still have a window of opportunity to do that, but every day that we wait, the worse and worse the consequences that we can't avoid will be. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.